forecast, which is starting off cold. Yeah, it is cold outside. The wind still elevated a little bit, not as gusty as yesterday. Definitely though. not. So yeah, some positives and it's going to be a little warmer today back to the 40s with some filtered sun. But this morning it is cold. We have clouds out there. So if you're trying to get a glimpse of the eclipse, it's going to be a little difficult this morning. In spots, the clouds are thin though, so you may be able to see it right through the clouds. The moon is shining very, very bright in this super moon portion of all of this going on today. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion Skycam air temps in the mid 20s. We still have that breeze though out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. It's putting wind chills back in the teens for most of us this morning. Planning your day today again, we're going to shoot back to the mid to upper 40s. We're going to have the clouds out there that's going to filter the sun a little bit, not completely blocking the sun by any means, but certainly going to keep some clouds around filtering the sun. You see that batch of clouds hanging over southwest and central Virginia going to block the viewing somewhat of the eclipse coming up just before 7 o'clock this morning. Only going to see a little sliver of that eclipse as the moon is going to set below the horizon just before 7 o'clock this morning. So keep that in mind. Tracking those clouds for you. Again, we're keeping a few of those clouds. Wind shifting to a more southerly component today, and that is going to pump in some warmer air, relatively speaking. Over the next couple of days, we're talking 40s and 50s over the next few days. Looking towards 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll see a partly cloudy sky when we wake up. Watch what happens, though, towards the second half of the afternoon. Looking towards the evening commute, dodging a few stray showers out there. Better opportunity for scattered showers and then eventually snow showers coming in later in the day. Here's 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock, and we're going to be dealing with some change over here. The best opportunity for some light accumulations of snow going to be in the New River Valley and along the western slopes and the highlands. All of that pushing it out of the area by early Friday morning, but certainly could have some slick spots. In terms of how much, it's not going to be a lot this time of the round. Really anywhere from a half an inch of snow to a dusting, a dusting to a half inch, maybe in isolated spots a little bit more than that the further west you are. Better opportunity though for widespread accumulating snow could come the second half of the weekend. You see it building here. This is going to be on Super Bowl Sunday into Monday morning. It's something we're tracking very, very closely. A lot depends on the track of that area of low pressure. Groundhog Day back to the upper 30s for highs. Again, there's that snow chance Sunday into Monday, warming up a little bit heading into Tuesday. 